Hey lovely simlies, it's Delicacy here with another speed build and uh, today this is going to be quite a speedy speed build uh, if you get my drift because it is a starter home. I was challenged uh, by Let's Play With Life on Twitter to build a starter home uh, for just 20k or with just 20,000 simoleons. So this is what I did and guess what? It actually came to exactly 20,000 simoleons, which I am super duper proud of. Uh, I was watching that budget until the very last flower bed was put in. So this is a starter home you can move your sims straight into. Uh, and it's called the starter cube. I, I don't know. I just wanted to make something in a cube, in the shape of a cube. And uh, as you can see there, I've been using a little bit of CFE to kind of get... Um, some shorter wall heights for the base of the cube and then there will also be a little bit of work on the top of the cube as well and what I like about this house is it's really really small but it's also really really light like I had enough money to put in some really big windows and because it's such a small space I actually divide up a lot of the space with windows as well rather than walls uh, so it's kind of all interconnected and in like a modern little uh little cozy house I guess uh, that's very contemporary I mean I imagine that you could have a whole heap of these in a row in kind of different cubic forms and that would be really cool but also a very important thing to mention in this is that this is completely a base game only house there is no content from any expansion packs or stuff packs or the store it's all base game so it's literally literally ready to just plop into Sunset Valley uh, and it was built on one of the smaller lots, so it'll kind of fit anywhere, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, what I did for a change this time is usually I use create a style as I go. But because I was using the cheapest furniture possible from the base game, I kind of just put it all in to start off with. And then I went back to color it, which I know a lot of people do do. Uh, but I've never done that before and it worked quite well. I think uh, to just kind of do that all at the end uh, but this is a nice little sunny lounge room we couldn't afford a TV in there just yet but you know once your sim earns a little bit more money they could put a nice big plasma on the uh, sunny glass window or something like that that could look kind of cool uh, and uh, I was gonna put these little windows in the toilet in the bathroom and above the bed but we had to get rid of them because they were busting our budget just a little bit so uh, we did get rid of that, but I play a lot with orientation around the house, how I kind of, a, kind of thought it would work best, and I really thought it was important to have all the basic items that your sim needs to just live, so there is a shower, there is a basin, there is an oven and a fridge, but we don't have a microwave or anything like that, because that wasn't really necessary, if you get what I mean, but the wardrobe there at the front door, I thought that was necessary so your sim could get changed <laughs> during gameplay. And if you're wondering why is Deli using pool walls, it's because it's the cheapest wall that you can completely customize without interfering with a texture that's already on there. Uh, so I blank out all the walls by using the pool wall because it's the cheapest. And then we go back and we actually give it like a timber texture on top of it. And I was originally going to go with this kind of dark timber, just a strip around the house. Uh, and then I was like, oh, maybe it could be light timber around the house. But in the end, I make the whole thing just a timber cube because the dark timber and the white reminded me of chocolate. I don't know. I was just thinking white chocolate, dark chocolate. I don't know if that's because I'm just really hungry right now and I'm totally going to have some cereal after this with Milo on top because that's so good. But anyway, that's totally off topic. Uh, it just looked like chocolate to me. So I just changed it to all timber. Thought it was really nice and modern that way. And I think it would look really nice when you're able to put some more landscaping into it. I mean, right now there's nothing. Uh, and at the end of the video, there is one tree and a few flower bushes. <laughs> and, I, and I believe a couple of rocks because we had to stay within the budget. But you know, you could go all out and have a beautiful garden. The other thing with making this house a cube was I kind of think I had that modular idea in my head where you could easily kind of add to it and build it up. And I actually would like to, in another, I guess in another speed build, I actually want to add to this and make a whole house from it. Uh, like renovate this starter home to make a bigger home. That's, I think that's what I want to do because I actually really want to play with this cube idea a little bit more. Oh, and also I have started to renovate my dream home, not renovate, to build my dream home. I don't know 
like how people do it. It's so hard to build a dream home because you just, I don't know. I don't know what I want, to be honest. I don't know what my dream home is. Like if it's in context, I know what I want. So say if it's like build your dream apartment, I know what that would look like. Or build your dream beach house, I know that what that would look like. But I don't know what my actual dream house that I would live in would be like or where it would be. It's really bizarre. So I'm actually still thinking about it. I did start a build and uh, I just wasn't happy with it. So that might turn into something else. But uh, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated with the, how that is going. But uh, this starter home was definitely a nice thing to do. And I really love the bright colors on the couches, that really bright geometric pattern. And we actually, I was trying to figure out what kind of fridge I wanted. And we go for this uh, really bright fire engine red fridge, which is pretty cool. I, I really liked the red fridge. I was digging it. So we keep that. <laughs> and I was trying different patterns and they were just ugly. And then I was like, oh, the rock pattern. I love that rock pattern. So we actually put that on the walls to break it up a little bit. Because um, I, I love that rock pattern. I think that is probably the texture I use most these days. Ever since I used it in the Jason Mazda collab build, I always use that texture. It's just like so handy. It just goes with anything. But anyway, there's our fire engine red fridge. I thought that was fun. And we've kind of got, I guess, a blue, orange and red theme going on in the house with the timber. And uh, note those candles there that have kind of been slipped through the table, overlaid through it. So it looks like they're sitting on top of it. But uh, they're actually that awkward height floor lamp. That's like, it's too short to be a floor lamp. Uh, and then it doesn't sit on a table. So it's like, what do I do with it? Uh, but just stick it through a coffee table and that looks nice. And I've said that in a lot of my videos, it's a trick I tend to use a lot, <laughs> but it's really cool. I've been seeing a lot of uh, little tricks like that uh, popping up in different people's videos they've been sending me and I've been checking them out. Uh, and it's really, really nice to see. It's really humbling. So I love seeing, I love seeing screenshots of what you guys have built. And uh, so keep linking me, definitely tweet it to me. <laughs> and I will try and check out as many as I can. Uh, and the bedroom here, I mean, as I said before, I've pretty much used all of the cheapest furniture from the base game that you can use. I don't think there's anything that's more expensive. So we do have the cheapest lamp, the cheapest changing wardrobe thing, the cheapest bed, the cheapest bedside tables. Uh, and then I was just trying to figure out what kind of pattern I wanted on it. Uh, but we actually uh, move on to something slightly different. Is it floral? No, it's kind of, it's, oh yeah, it's this pattern, but I change it up a lot because it was really busy. So I just kind of took out a few elements of it. So just a bit simpler uh, in the smaller room. It wasn't like in your face or anything. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that mirror there. And uh, if I want that kind of wardrobe thing to be black or white or what color, we just go with white in the end because it's just nice. And I love that I made the alarm clock stripey because I would love a stripey alarm clock. That would be really nice. And then I was like, oh, what should I put above the bed? So I was trying to put in different curtains and stuff. And I don't know. They just looked lame. <laughs> that was like a mirror. That's kind of uh, fun to have a mirror behind the bed head. But then I was like, oh, I don't know about that. So then I decided to kind of do this off-centered strip of wall color, which I've been experimenting with wall colors a lot, uh, just strips of paint. I do that sometimes. I also have done it in the corner of the entrance. I don't know what it is, but I kind of like how it's offset and it's not perfect, but still ties in a few of the geometric patterns and the colors there. So just experimenting with that. And I kind of liked the idea of overlaying a mirror on top of it, but it, it was like too many mirrors because there was a mirror in the other room and I just didn't like it. So we end up getting rid of that mirror and putting some paintings on top of it in a second. Once I have a bit of a play around here, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> and these, that looked cool overlapping the shelf over the wardrobe. But one, I don't think it's functional for Sims to get into the wardrobe. And two, it was too expensive. So we actually do get rid of that, unfortunately. But then here I put in some of the paintings. I kind of stacked them on one another. And I love how they overlap the two vertical lines on the wall as two horizontal lines. I love that crossover effect. effect. And uh, playing a bit with textures here and colors as well. And it kind of ties in all the colors in the house quite nicely. That red, orange and blue palette. Uh, which is just a bit of fun. I also put the wardrobe on the side there and I get rid of one of the counters in the kitchen. 
because it wasn't really necessary to have it. And, you know, as your sim earns more money, they can add in extra counters. <laughs> uh, and then just putting in some gardening, I guess we've called the bin. I was trying to figure out what kind of trees I wanted to put in. And I wanted that one basic tree that is my favorite tree. <laughs> uh, so that's been put in there. And of course, doing a bit of terrain painting, which is free. It doesn't cost you anything just to give it a little bit more realism. But anyway, we're coming up to the screenshots now. And, uh, Oh yeah, there's the rocks. Uh, we like the rocks. And you'll see a few flowers put in at the end. Will you see them? There we go. And that brings it to exactly 20,000 simoleons. Uh, so it's ready for your sims to move straight in. But here's a screenshot so you get a couple of views of the house. And there's a sim walking past, which is nice. Uh, hot air balloon above the house, which is very lovely too. Uh, of course, there's not many screenshots for this because it's such a little house. But uh, there's the couches. You can kind of get an idea of how the walls are sectioned off with windows. So it's nice and open. Uh, it's a very light house. You would probably like to put curtains on there later down the track. <laughs> that would probably be a good idea. The fire engine red fridge, which I love. And the nice friendly bedroom. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. The download for this will be available in the description down below. And I will speak to you guys soon. Bye!